we are cooking with scraps this morning. Panita Chitwell Varma joins us with clever ways to use the bits of food that most of us just toss into the compost bin. Good morning. Good morning, Annette. Crappy cooking, that's what I'm calling it. I love this because it's, it's I, I really want to get to the orange peels because they're so full of flavor, right? And, and mostly we just toss them. Totally. And then, you know, in Asia and in the Mediterranean, in the Middle East, orange peels are a normal part of food and uh, they've been used to imbue that orangey flavor. And it's the peels that have the fiber and the polyphenols and they're totally delicious. So what do you use them for? So I've made two examples here. I've got this orange peel chutney, which you can have with crackers and as a dip outside on the patio when we can do that, right? Starting tomorrow. Uh, you can also use it in a stir fry, which cooks down the orange peels really well. So what you need to do when you get started is really to rinse the orange out because it's often covered in pesticides and we don't wash the oranges, right? But now that we're cooking with the peels, then um, washing the oranges is a great first step. Peel them, as I've done here, I've got an example here, scoop the bit out and slice it up, add it like you would, you know, uh, onions and maybe some squash and zucchini. I've got a stir fry here where I've halved the meat. That's part of, uh, that's what I uh, talk about, you know, planet friendly and health friendly cooking. And so there's half the meat, add in some beans. I've added some orange peels in here and tons of flavor. It's totally delicious. Very cool. Looking forward to uh, to trying that out. Beet tops are another thing. And, and there's so much as we go to farmers markets now and, and we're getting, you know, the carrots and the beets with the greenery on them. Don't toss that away either. Totally. And so I've got examples here. So I bought these over the weekend at the farmers market and they have these beautiful beet tops. I trimmed those off, sauteed them quickly in olive oil and garlic, and these will stay now in the fridge for a couple of days. I've bought some uh, myself some time, and then I can add these to my soup later on in the week. And then this stays in the fridge or at the bar in the darkest corner of your pantry for a month. And that way we've reduced what we're throwing away and we're using what we have, what we already have. Okay, broccoli is another thing too that people tend to just use kind of like the little treetops, I guess we, we call them, but there's so much of it that we, that we end up composting. So don't buy the crowns, and I see that in grocery stores all the time. So the treetops, the crowns is what we often buy because they're convenient, right? Uh, but if we buy the entire broccoli, the stem has so much flavor. So what I've done here, I've done two examples. So I've got just sliced broccoli I often cook that with the rest of the broccoli or you can be a little fancy and what my kids call these are broccoli fries and so I've sliced the stem up taken the nubby bits off because those are really tough to digest and to eat and then slice them up into a fry shape baked for 450 for 20 minutes and that's it it's delicious and you're using the entire broccoli Wow, what a great idea. So do you just kind of like, do you use like a, um, I'm thinking like a vegetable pear or, or a peeler or something to, to get that off then? Yes, so get the outer skin off because it often has those, uh, you know, the brown bit and they're really yes. tough. Uh, they're fibrous. And so you peel that off with a, with a paring knife or a vegetable peeler and then slice it up in the shape you want. I often have it in the oven cooking along with the rest of the things and uh, it's totally delicious i've got all these recipes free to download uh, starting next week on maple and marigold so people should totally sign up yeah and and your blog is so creative and and so well and because you came to this country it's 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 kind of a marriage you say of the maple for canada and the marigold for india and and you've just taken the best ways of cooking and the best ways of reducing food waste because that's what you're all about oh Thank you, thank you. Good for you, good for the planet cooking. That's what I'm about here, so right. Okay, Panita, always great chatting with you and, uh, and we'll get those recipes up and the links up to your blog, Maple and Marigold, on our website, chch.com. Great to see you again. You too, Annette, bye.